Gray skies to start the day today, and if you were up really early this morning, you might have even seen a snowflake fly in our higher elevations. No big impacts from what came through last night, and thankfully those clouds, they released their hold by mid-morning. It was nice to see the sunshine come out today. We warmed really efficiently into the 50s, and it's setting the stage for a gorgeous sunset tonight. Also in part because of the next system that's coming in. We have more raindrops that will try to slide in overnight tonight. Not very many of them about a half a dozen, but we will have a chance for a little bit of rain overnight and the clouds ahead of it are what's setting the stage for such a gorgeous golden sunset in Columbia tonight. 51 there uh, from our Skynet camera downtown, not quite as bright, but you can still see a little bit of warmth on the horizon there, just really pretty kind of moody colors. It was nice to warm up a bit this afternoon as well, especially compared to the tundra that the weekend felt like. We are still in an active pattern, but as we head into the next few days and next week, we're not looking at more snow chances, we're looking at more rain chances. So tonight, a couple cold sprinkles come in, but it'll be just that, sprinkles. We'll have more cloud cover around tomorrow, so not as much sunshine as today, but a little bit will poke through. Our good soaking rain looks to arrive on Thursday, especially for folks south of I-40. So this is what it looks like on satellite and radar. You can see those clouds already starting to stream in from the west. The perfect blend of clouds and sunshine is what gives you those gorgeous golden sunsets. So we'll take that as a victory for tonight. There are a couple of raindrops on the back side of this, but like I said, it is just a couple. Up towards St. Louis, you've got a few falling. Northern parts of Arkansas, they've got a couple there. There's a lot of dry air at the surface, so most of the raindrops that are leaving the cloud are evaporating before they hit the ground. And that will continue to be the theme tonight, although a couple of them may make it to your windshield. Most of this gone by daybreak tomorrow. Temperatures warmed up nicely. Like I said, dry air does tend to heat more efficiently, so we will take that as a victory. Here's another look at uh, some of the rain chances trying to slide in from the west and northwest and how that plays out tonight. So after midnight, we'll likely have a couple raindrops, especially into our higher elevations. When those clouds get forced up into uh, higher terrain, it helps to squeeze out just a couple little extra raindrops. Nothing more than that. Clouds again to start tomorrow, and then we'll try to filter it out by the afternoon. You've got another chance Wednesday for a quick peak of sunshine before our next rainmaker comes in. This one is coming from the south, so our highest rainfall totals will be across our southern tier. So if you are up in Kentucky, I don't expect much rain from the system on Thursday. If you are closer to the Alabama border, you may flirt with as much as a half an inch of rain. So is that anything we need to worry about? No. Is it the best chance for rain we've had in some time? Yes. Here's a look at those rainfall totals that go through Friday. Does look like we'll have more wet weather set for the early part of next week, but that's next week. Let's get through our Monday night, right? Overnight tonight, we're down into the 30s, so a cold night, but not cold enough to worry about wintry weather, just cold sprinkles. Low 50s tomorrow, like I said, with the little afternoon sunshine. Get the sunshine when you can, because with this active pattern in place, it does tend to keep things kind of on the gloomy side. The rain that comes in on Thursday, a couple raindrops may linger early in the day on Friday, but we should be dry by Friday afternoon. Weekend looking mostly quiet as well. Late day Sunday is when we'll have a couple raindrops come in ahead of another system that slides in Monday, Tuesday. This one may bring a couple rumbles of thunder by Monday. Thank you, Nori.